Hey, what's up everybody? Justin back with another episode of Our Reactions, though it's almost a little bit of a round table. Um, so we're going to talk about Stargirl on Disney+. Plus. Um, me and my daughter recently did a review of the trailer while we were waiting for the movie to come out. And a bunch of you were interested. We had a lot of discussion on it. Uh, so we decided we would give the movie a, a watch and discuss the movie. So first, um, I guess I'll, I'll kind of go first. The entire first half of this movie was probably one of the most boring things I've ever seen. Um, not to discourage people, not to upset people, which I'm sure this is going to do. But the first part of this movie was a bunch of just boring stuff. I shouldn't it even was, say stuff. I don't was, know. It was very true to the book. Yeah, it's they kept it. They, true to the book. they kept it really true to the book. That's why it just the book is slow to get into the story. But that doesn't make it a bad book. I actually love the book. Yeah, I like I, 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 I like the, the book, book a the book lot is, better than this movie. The like, book is re the book is really good. I thought the movie was actually pretty good. It just was slow. It was just at a slow pace. It was really slow picking up, and the actors in it, Grace Vanderwall, and the the main boy, the guy, the, the person who played Leo. Yeah, all, all, every the scene acting was great. Yeah. I had no problem with any part of the acting. It's just story-wise, it just was so slow to me to begin with. Like, I kept going, is something going to happen? Is there going to be any kind of drama in it? Because it, everything was so picture-perfect. Like, the whole opening of the movie, the boy talks about, I had to conform because people picked on me and I was bullied and they chopped off my tie. And then Stargirl shows up and she's all, hey, look at me, I'm Stargirl. And they're all like, we love you because you're different. They, it made no sense story-wise to me. No, 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 no. You're not yeah, actually, you, you you're not, you didn't, on. you didn't, it's like you didn't watch the movie. Because, <laughs> wow. they, because they all, they're all like, well, you're, they weren't all like, um, yay. Right. You're so amazing in the beginning. No. They, they were all like. She's oh, this girl! Is, this girl is weird. Why is she here? They, they, don't... they looked a little bit at her like she no, was weird when okay. she played the thing, but immediately they're like, "Yay!" I mean, no, it, it wasn't immediately. It's not until she helps the team it's win not, the yes, game. Because the that team scene... hasn't won in like because right. the team like has oh, never won. And that's and that's something that comes through better in the in the book than it does in the in the movie. And I think there's a lot of that in the the reason the book is or the movie is extremely true to the book, but there's still like in every kind of book to movie adaptation, there's always stuff you're gonna lose um, when you're not saying it out loud perfectly like he like he like the boy narrates into the beginning of the movie like if you don't get every single tiny detail that's written in a book sometimes it feels choppy or faster than or too quick to change where where the book you feel it for sure that she's very she's an outcast at the beginning she's very strange that um i wish i could remember his name the boy's Leo. name Leo, leo's group is are all outcasts they're all weird and um you know and that's very clear in the in the books that book well there are two books but um the there that's very clear in the books but it's not as clear it happens very quickly in the movie which is funny because overall the movie just feels super slow it's very plotting even though the acting's great and the and the dialogue is fine i i, I don't even know why it feels but i don't know if it's because there's not enough drama built think, up by exactly what you don't like like the reason why you don't like it is because it seems to shift so quickly but but at the same time, it's a, this terribly boring shift, and it's like why they it, needed. It's, it's so true to the book, mm -hmm. and they just wanted to make it go. Which is there's the nothing slow, wrong the with slow, it. The slow pace. I mean, it's probably because we're all used to watching Marvel. <laughs> it could so be. It, yeah, it's not I a mean, Marvel movie. It's not. It's not a Marvel movie, even. And it's not Star Wars, even though there is a Star Wars actor. Yes, there is a Star Wars actor. But, um, but it was actually a really good movie. It's I, just slow. I enjoyed the steady. second half of the movie once the drama hits and they outcast her because she's like basically 
wanted to be there for the member of the other team that got hurt and okay, there's okay. actually drama do we really are we so, this is not a spoiler free this is not a spoiler free okay, we've already okay. dealt with spoiler free before well, this, was just the, okay. this is so i guess i guess you're seeing the difference between people who have read the book and somebody who hasn't read the book as somebody who hasn't read the book the movie is completely lacking to me the, and the because movie. i've just seen so many teen movies that have done this story better and, and that's my and that's as a movie person that's my problem. But as a book person, it was a really good it, movie. Right, she really likes it. She thinks it falls. I, well, I think the story in it's really didn't really like the movie. I thought it was incredibly boring. I think part of the thing with the book is the book is pretty short. I can read the book in about the half amount of time as I'm watching that movie. Like it's 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 not a long book, and so I think that's part of it for me is that it just. Felt like it was taking forever to get to the same conclusion as the book does. I will say that I loved Grace. She was fabulous. Her, I, I, I know we have a lot of uh, people that are interested in this movie just because of her, and and I'm not trying to pander. I thought she she was she acted well, and her singing is wonderful. I can see why she has such a following on YouTube, and um, I thought all of the 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 kids and the adults too, but all of the kids did a great job acting, and I think that's important. And I, like I said, the dialogue was fine. It's just it's just it's a book, it's a story that doesn't have a lot of things happening that are super crazy and eventful and the movie didn't do a good job of really playing up the things that um were really important to that so like you know the that first when she first sings it was an important mo point in the movie obviously but but it just it almost happened too quickly like they didn't pick on her enough like they did in the book when she's in the when she yeah when she's in the cafeteria and she sings happy birthday to right. him they cla some of them clapped. They're like, yay, that was awesome. Nobody boos her. At that point, she's an outcast. She's brand new. They should be like, boo, you suck. Like, picking on her. Completely putting her down. And she should blow it off. And she do doesn't book, do it. Do you remember? So in the, in the book, she's getting the weirdness. And everybody's mm -hmm. talking about her. And that you do feel this a little bit in the movie. But everybody's talking about her before you even meet her in the book. And it's all very, she's super weird. So there's a lot of that dialogue that goes along in the book. Which you don't get in the movie. This, there's a little bit of it, but it's not as much. And then, um, like, so there's a bunch of stuff that leads up to that scene in the in the cafeteria when she sings to him. And it, and it just happened so fast. I, the movie was really good in general. There's just some things that they just happened too fast in it. Right. But I... Uh, Overall, it was really good, and if and if you want to know more about her, you should watch Disney Insider, the first episode on Disney Plus too. Yes, because they have. She has a whole part in that because there are three things they mm -hmm. do. She has a whole part. A whole in segment that. in that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. So, star girl. Yeah, I, I think I think where the movie shines is the characters. I think you do feel Leo and Star Girl's journeys, like their emotions. Because again, I think they did well. <laughs> it's I just, the only thing you can I just think the like, right the, the first the first half of the movie is so boring to me as a movie person, um, and as somebody who hasn't read the book. Um, but I, I, what would you? I mean, would you say I do think it has heart? I think it's a good family movie. Yeah, there's think, nothing in it that is even slightly objectionable. So no. if you know anybody, or if you're very conservative in what you let your children watch, it's there's there's nothing. Yeah, I and I like I said I and I think the actors all do a great job. There's nobody that I was like, "Ooh, that was not delivered well" or anything like that. And the the two main our two main actors, you know, do a great job, I think. If you're going to watch the movie, you're probably going to want to read the book first so you understand the whole story along with it cuz he doesn't understand anything really. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it. no, it's not that you I won't understand it. It's I very, it's very, it's it, you. You understand it. It's just you won't feel. You'll you'll feel those scenes more deeply, and you'll understand what's going on in the characters' minds better by reading the books. Just like every other kind of. So thing yeah, so I guess so. if you take anything away from our review, it should be, it's true to this, true to the book. Mm -hmm. If you've read the book, you'll like the movie a lot more and understand the movie a lot more. I still thought it was boring. Okay. But you'll you'll feel the scenes more and understand them more. If you haven't read the book, you're gonna be like me and kind of be like, "Wow, this is taking forever to get somewhere," 
and some things are kind of weird. And the last takeaway again is that the acting the acting good. is really good. The songs are really good. The original songs. I'm assuming Grace probably wrote at least one of those in there. Would be my assumption. I thought they were all remakes. So I thought she would. All of them were covers. I don't think so. I think I think at least one of those is probably hers. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Something to look up. Um, and he was wrong. Right. <laughs> if you've watched these before, you know that a lot of times we pop up little things and say, hey, yeah, I was wrong. They were right. So, anyways, <laughs> if you had to give it a star rating. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, zero. How, how, where do you put it? For, for um, me, I would put it at around a three and a half. A three and a half? But, okay. I, but... It's definitely not an action movie, so no. don't go into it thinking you're like. It's a drama. It's it's definitely a drama. But don't go into it thinking you're gonna see spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good call. She's it's not an star, alien. Star yes. Well, star I mean, girl. she could be an alien, she's, but she's not an alien. Yeah, she, she was just making a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She does just okay. No. Um, so, uh, so my yeah, and so, wait, I'm talking, God, I'm sorry. So don't go into right. thinking there are spaceships and stuff. But so if you're so if it's like you're just you just want a calming down movie or something to watch, then you would probably give it like five or four stars. Okay. But I thought it was a pretty good movie. So you're putting yeah. about in the middle though. Overall. And, and it, yeah, about around in the middle. Okay, and how about you? Um, I'd give it a two, uh, just for Grace and for the rest of the acting. Um, I'd give it a five for a great movie to fall asleep to. Um, <laughs> I just you, don't. I, I wouldn't waste my time with the movie. I would, I, like I said, I would. I would read the books because there's two of them. You can find out what happens at the end of the movie if you read the second book, and. Um, I would and I would fast forward to the song to Grace's songs. It, okay. I, I I still don't agree with you with doing that. Okay. But all right. So some dissension. Um, dissension. Myself, <laughs> myself. It's it's a two. I can't go okay. higher than that. I don't agree with him. It's just it's one of those as a standalone movie. It just it lacks so much um story wise it needs more plot points at the beginning it needs a little more to get you going the the dissension between the characters needs to be there faster than it is so as somebody who hasn't watched or haven't hasn't read the book and just looking at it strictly as a movie it's severely lacking um again you know the things that stand out grace the boy that plays uh, Leo. Leo, and the the songs. And the movie definitely has heart. It definitely has something that it's trying to tell you. Um, you know, it, it definitely has that. It's okay to be different. Yes, it, it definitely has that moral of that, that, hey, you can be different, and it's okay. And, and that is a great, powerful point to have as a movie. I just wish it would have showed the other people so against that differentness at the beginning of the movie so that you felt when they really turned and understood that different was okay and you just you never get that powerful moment where you're like they finally understand everybody at that school finally understands because it's just lacking in the in the beginning uh, so i mean yeah that that part's probably the only thing that i'm really against in the movie because yeah. the acting was great the song it was great it was most and of the, most of the story was really good it was except it was just that part where they're like not against her in the beginning right. yeah they just don't feel like they're against her enough like you think they should be so that you never get that powerful moment of them getting the realization that she's right well and the stuff with the girl, and you do get it in the second half with the girl and her brother's bike yes and that was much more that was probably one of the most that, powerful moments and yeah. i felt that so much more in the book than i felt it in the movie so yeah. like i i don't know what it was if if i was just so bored behind by I, that time where i was just so like 
I wasn't vested in it at all. And so by then it was like, oh yeah, there's that part. I remember that part. Like I, it, I will say as somebody who just watched the movie, that's probably the most powerful moment is when Grace is on the hot seat and the girl and her are talking and you kind of see between that and Grace's, um, her uh, speech, where she gives the speech and takes off her shoes. Those are those two moments that you just wish there was so much more emotion at the beginning of people against her that when that finally happens and they realize it, it would have been so much more powerful. But that's just a movie thing. That's just It's not a story thing. It's not an acting thing. That's... It just, I don't think it was done well enough in the movie. So we're kind of okay. mixed. We're kind of in the middle twos, threes, three and a half. Acting wise, you're not going to be disappointed. Song wise, you're not going to be disappointed. But it does start off slow and it takes takes some time to actually get into the movie. So there you have it. And any last words you want to say? It sounded like you were about to say something. Um, I was just going to say that... You do not have to listen to them about it being bad. If you like the movie, you like the movie. I thought it was really good. I would probably give, I might raise it up actually to like a four. <laughs> okay. So, so there, really honest, to, to be honest, it's a movie meant for kids, for kids, for kids about tweens. my daughter's age, tweens. So she likes it much better than I do. Some of you are going to like it. Some of you are not. I'm sure we're going to see messages of all different kinds on this. So until next time, this is Justin with his wife and his daughter. And this is Row 9 signing out.